Hey guys, uh, the first thing we're going to start off this week with is finishing off fishing. We started our fishing grind last week. Uh, we're going for 58 for now, and we're doing that with barbarian fishing. So, I mean not barbarian fishing, we're doing that with uh, fly fishing. So, from 57 to 58, it should take about 22 minutes, assuming that you're getting 60k XP per hour. I was slacking a little bit in this clip. After you finish off that 58 fishing, uh, head over to the GE. We're going to be doing some cooking next. You're going to want to buy 3,500 rock rhomboans. I bought more in this because I was uh, planning on getting 70 cooking, which we might get later. But for now, I actually only ended up getting 65 cooking. So you only need to buy about 3,500 rock rhomboans. After you buy those, head over to the Rogue's Den, which is up in Berthorp, down in the, in the pub basement. So we're going to be doing one tick karambuans for our cooking, which is extremely fast and it's not too expensive as of making this video. Um, I hardly, I think I lost 200k doing this. Um, wines is probably a little bit cheaper and depends on how good you are at this. This is kind of one of the more skill based uh, skilling methods. So you may want to do wines if you can't click very well. Those are probably about as efficient. Um, for most people, you have to be really good to get perfect XP rates doing this. Even with even with the updates, they updated it to make it a, a lot easier, but it's still pretty easy to mess up if someone walks in the fire or anything else like that. It can uh, screw you up. So from level 32 to 65 cooking, you're going to need to cook 2,279 karambuans, and you should have about a 30% burn rate over those levels. That's what I had, and um, testing out my main, it was around that so you should end up burning about a thousand karambuans. If you are perfect at this, um, you should be able to get about around 750k XP per hour with a 30% burn rate. If you're not perfect like me, I was getting 500k XP per hour. So it took me about 52 minutes. If you were doing 750k XP per hour, it would take more like 35 minutes. And so to do this method is pretty simple. I will see if there's a guide on YouTube. I'll link down in the description that should go into more detail, but I'll just go through it really quickly. So you use your Karambuan on the fire, you hit two. You use your next Karambuan on the fire, hit two on your keyboard, or I just, I hold two down until I bank. And that's pretty much all you do. You have to click pretty fast. And um, if you have the right timing doing uh, one every tick, then it should go smoothly and you should get some pretty insane XP per hour. So after you hit 65 cooking, head back over to the GE, sell all the rest of any raw karambons you have um, and any cooked karambons that you have. And as long as you weren't extremely unlucky or prices haven't changed a ton since this video was made, you should only lose like a couple hundred K. When I made this video, uh, karambons were, raw karambons were what, like 550 and then the cooked ones were like seven. 20 something you can probably see in the video I'm probably showing the prices me selling and buying them so you can look at them there but I only lost a couple hundred K so after you're done selling that stuff uh, we're gonna buy what we need for our next thing so you want to buy full mithril mithril boots um, if you have enough money buy a regen bracelet last uh, buy that after you buy all this other stuff I'm gonna say because that's not necessary and it's quite expensive so you only want to buy that if you have enough after buying this other stuff uh, you want to buy a Dragon Axe. If you don't have a Rune Axe, buy a Rune Axe. If you don't have an Addy Axe, buy an, buy an Addy Axe. So that all should give us uh, pretty good defense bonuses. Um, so after buying that armor, if you don't have enough for a regen after buying the Mithril and the Axes, uh, just buy like a combat bracelet or go and buy the best uh, recipe for disaster gloves you can from the Colormancer's chest. The reason why we're buying that stuff is for defense bonus and the regen for HP regeneration and the axes for woodcutting, of course. Then you want to start Monkey Madness and you want to get to the point in the quest where you can access Apatol. That's really early on in the quest. You don't have to go any further than that right now. Once you can access Apatol, you want to bring an Antidote++ plus plus for a dose. Uh, you want to bring your Adiax, Runax, and Dragonax. You want to wear your full Mithril. You want to wear your regen bracelet and you want to wear a short bow any kind of short bow and you don't want to bring any arrows and i forgot to bring this but this is helpful if you bring a wind strike spell like bring like 100 mind runes and like an air staff or something like that and then fill up or don't fill up your inventory but bring a few food as well you want to make sure you have room in your inventory for logs though so don't completely fill up your inventory 
Also bring a pestle and mortar and a guam leaf and some swamp tar to do three tick cutting for a little bit before we can do two tick teak wood cutting. So once you get to the island, uh, you're gonna wanna run west like I'm doing in this clip. And at first everything is gonna be aggressive towards us so we can't do two tick cutting yet. Um, so that's why I kind of stand where I'm standing and usually monsters can't really, or they don't really get to you right here. If they do get on you, just kind of like lure them away and then come back to this spot and you should be pretty safe. And you're going to want to just do three tick cutting here for about 20 to 30 minutes while they become unaggressive towards you. Once they become unaggressive towards you, we're going to want to get two blue birds uh, to attack us. And you don't want to run very far away because if you do, you're going to make everything aggressive towards you again. And then you're going to have to wait another 20 to 30 minutes before you can do two tick cutting, which is going to waste a lot of experience. So try and stay within like, I, I would guess like six to eight squares of the trees that we're at, those, the, those teak trees. And if you see any blue birds, use your um, airstrike on them if they're in range. Then when they're attacking you, you want to make them so that they are, when you have two of them on you, you want to make them so they're like alternating their attacks. They attack every four ticks, and since you have two of them on you, you should be getting attacked every two ticks. Then you want to make sure you have no arrows on and have your bow on. Put your bow on rapid. It has to be on rapid. Then put your auto retaliate on and... Basically, click on the tree and then click on the ground. And as soon as your character starts turning towards the birds to retaliate, that's when you click on the tree. And as soon as you click on the tree and your character turns back around to cut the tree, you want to click on the ground or drop a log. And you want to click kind of like where you're standing so your character doesn't move. If you move, you may offset the birds and you then you have to get them back into the right timing. The reason why you're clicking on the ground is because that stops your action. And then when they attack you, that allows you to retaliate towards them. So basically you just repeat that over and over. Click on the tree, click on the ground. When you turn to retaliate, click on the tree, click on the ground, turn to retaliate, click on the tree. And you just repeat that over and over and you should be able to get some insane woodcutting experience this way. And so we're going to be doing this method all the way up until 71 woodcutting. Um, so that should be 9,290 teak logs that you have to cut. Um, it should take about 7 hours and 10 minutes, assuming that you average 110k XP per hour over those levels. You won't be getting that much experience down at the lower levels, of course, with your Addy and Rune Axe. But once you hit 61 and you're using your Dragon Axe, you should be able to, be, you should be able to get well over 110k XP per hour. And that is where I left this week off, uh, 71 woodcutting. So, so thank you guys all for watching and see you in the next video. Yeah.